Hi, my name is Joel Mavis. I'm here down here at the uh, at the KVCC Museum to uh, do a little something for the Kalamazoo Fretboard Festival. And uh, I brought along my historic Kalamazoo guitar here. This uh, guitar was made uh, back in 1937 or so, about four blocks from here at the Gibson factory. Uh, made by Gibson, they called it Kalamazoo. These things sold in the Depression for about $14. And I'm gonna do you an old folk song here. This song's been around since forever and uh, all kinds of versions. There's a blues version they call Sugar Babe. And there's a, a Doc Watson used to do a country version called How Many Biscuits Can You Eat This Morning? <laughs> and uh, a lot of people call it uh, uh, a crawdad song. You get a line and I'll get a pole, honey, yeah. But uh, I like to use the title that Carl Sandburg gave it. Carl Sandburg was a poet, of course, but he was also a, an amateur folk singer. And he collected a lot of songs and he called this, What Kind of Pants Does a Gambler Wear? <laughs> what kind of pants does a gambler wear? What kind of pants does a gambler wear, babe? What kind of pants does a gambler wear? It's a big old striped yellow pair. Honey, 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 sugar babe. And how many biscuits does he eat, honey? How many biscuits does he eat, babe? does he eat 49 and a ham of meat honey 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 sugar bee What you gonna do when that meat gives out, honey? What you gonna do when your meat gives out, babe? Yeah, what you gonna do when the meat gives out? Sit in the door with your mouth in a pout, honey, 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 sugar babe. Well, I'll tell you what, you take a line, I take a pole. Crawdad hole, honey, 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 sugar bee. Yeah, but what you gonna do when the hole goes dry, honey? What you gonna do when the hole goes dry, babe? Yeah, what you gonna do when the hole goes dry? <laughs> Sit on the bank and cry, 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 honey, honey, sugar, babe. Well, there ain't no need to be crying so hard, honey. Ain't no need to be crying so hard, babe Ain't no need to be crying so hard You see, I got the key to the poultry yard Honey, 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 sugar bee Yeah, I got an old hen sitting in a chimney jam Sitting in a chimney jam, babe. Got an old hen sitting in a 
chimney jam If that ain't a hot place, I'll be damned Honey, 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 sugar bean Yeah, what kind of pants does a gambler wear, honey? What kind of pants does a gambler wear, babe? Strapping yellow pear, honey, 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 sugar bee. Honey, 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 sugar bee. Honey, 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 sugar bee. Well, I'd like to, uh, to do one of my songs for you here, a song I wrote some uh, 30, 40 years ago, <laughs> 30, at least 30 years ago. You know, uh, when I was back when I was my bachelor days, I spent a lot of Christmas Eves all by myself. Oh, how sad it was. And I got into the habit of reading uh, the Beatitudes took out the Bible and read the Beatitudes. And there's a line in there that always stuck with me, uh, that uh, the Lord gives you, gives the, makes the sun to shine on the evil and the just, and the rain falls on the just and the unjust. And I thought, well, that, that's something to think about, isn't it? So I wrote this song with that in mind. So some of the crew here was, was asking me about this old Depression era guitar that I'm playing here. And it's a wonder. I bought this at a music store about 35 years ago as, as a Dutch auction. They started it at $150 and they took a dollar off every day. And I kept going in the store and playing it. Jesus, like, it's, it's down to $140. When it got to $125, I bought it. And uh, this, like I said before, this is uh, made in Kalamazoo, uh, 1937. They don't have a serial number in it, so we don't know exactly. But that's when they made these. And uh, it, it has all the finish features and, the, and this cool uh, tiger stripe uh, pickguard here and, and Brazilian rosewood fingerboard. Can't even get those anymore. Uh, but they made them a little different in those days to, to be the cheap ones. They sold like for $14 or so, 
uh, by mail or in, in music stores. They, uh, the Gibson version of this would come down to here, it'd be about two inches longer and a little more resonant. And what the big thing that was different with the Kalamazoo models instead of the Gibson, they still made the Gibsons, you know, and they were more expensive, of course. Gibson had a, a, uh, an adjustable metal truss rod inside the neck. They prided themselves on that invention. All the Gibsons always going to have an adjustable metal truss rod, but they didn't put any truss rod in these. Instead, they just made the neck really thick. They call them baseball bats in the trade. <laughs> There's just a lot of wood on there, and if you don't have a big hand, you won't, wouldn't be able to play this. But it, it, that's why it doesn't warp after all these years. It's straight as an arrow. And I just love this thing. It's not fancy at all, but you know, you don't like fancy. Down in Texas, they make an imitation of this now. There's a company that makes an imitation of this. They sell them for like $2,000. And they don't call it Kalamazoo, they call it a, a Waterloo <laughs> guitar. It looks a little bit like Kalamazoo from a distance. Uh, and those are good guitars, and they're made cheaply compared to the fancy ones. But uh, so the same idea comes around. When times are tough, people still have to make music, and you got to have a good instrument. You know, that's just the bottom line. I tell you, last year was quite a year, wasn't it? Um, I'm going to sing a song I've been doing forever. Uh, this song I've recorded it many years ago, and uh, this is the song for the year 2020, if there ever was one. <laughs>
So uh, that's it, folks, for me. Uh, I'm Joel Mabus, in case you just tuned in. And I want to thank you for watching and listening. And uh, we'll see you next time in person, okay? Thank you.